Hi friends, hi family, welcome to Stephanie's quarantine show. Um, I have a cough and a fever so I was asked to isolate and I'm gonna be really bored really soon. So my sister Katie gave me the idea to do something on Instagram every day and today I chose to teach you how to clean your makeup. Um, if you are sick or someone that you share makeup with is sick, this is a really good useful thing. Um, and just general hygiene practice. I was shocked to see how much soap ran out in my um, in my work bathroom. Like, are people not washing their hands? Very concerned. So, um, <coughs> sorry, text. <coughs> first things first, powders. People forget to clean their powders. I don't know why. They get just as dirty as everything else. And the brush, I mean, the brush goes from like this to your face to this to your face. So your face is getting on this. So this is really dirty. Um, so what you're gonna use is 70% alcohol, put it in a spray bottle. And all you have to do is take this, spritz it really well, let it dry. Um, you don't wanna use anything above 75 or below 70. 70 is the CDC rate for killing things like this on that type of surface. And above 75, it doesn't sink into the product enough to cleanse the whole thing. So you're really just cleaning the surface and that's not gonna do you much good later down the road. Um, you don't want bacteria growing in there. Second thing, <coughs> brushes. Just use this brush on that, right? So what we're gonna use is called Cinema Secrets. Um, it is a ton of alcohol, quick dry, but it has softening stuff for your brushes so you don't destroy your brushes. Um, and it smells like vanilla, so why not? I put it in here. Um, and I spray it both on the brush itself and then also in here. I just do one long spray in there and you're just gonna rub it on in. Just let it rub. Then once you look like you're clean, take a paper towel, rub it until you don't see any more color. I mean, look how dirty that was just from like two dabs in that. Nice and clean, great. Next, also with brushes, um, you should be using that like pretty regularly with your brushes. I would say every day, every other day. It dries right away so you can use the brush right after you've done it. <coughs> but another thing you should be doing with your brushes is cleaning with soap and olive oil. Crazy combination. Soap cleans it, olive oil makes it so your brushes don't dry out too fast and don't get gross and grimy. Two thirds soap, one third olive oil. Good to go. Um, <coughs> next thing, foundation. Um, do not put your foundation directly on your skin from the bottle. Like don't touch the bottle to your skin. Because if you think about it, if you're, if you're like have mucus anywhere or gross things all over your face, if this touches your face or even like say you put it directly on the makeup sponge and you touch it to the makeup sponge but the makeup sponge has been all over your face and is full of bacteria this is no longer clean so you have to throw it out so what you can do is get sorry it's under a bunch of things but you can get a stainless steel palette just take it spritz it down and then use your sponge on it or use your fingers or whatever. Cause this you can clean, inside of this bottle you can't. So this you can Clorox, you can bleach, you can do whatever you want. Um, and then it's just more sanitary. Then you don't have to throw out all your makeup. And this thing's only like $5 on Amazon. I think it comes in like a set of two. Totally worth it. <coughs> Next, lipstick. Lipstick can get real gross if you've been sick, but you don't have to throw it away unless I mean, like, if you're coughing directly on it, that's pretty gross, right? But you don't have to throw it away. Take your 70% alcohol, spray it, okay? Let it sit for a second. Take a tissue, wipe that first layer of lipstick off of the whole thing. Like that. And then you're good to go to use it again. Um, what I would do though is spray it right away if you can, because inside this metal thing, it can harbor bacteria too. So if it's like, 
I don't know, it's been in there for too long, then just toss it. But if it's not been in there too long, then you can still use the spritz method. method. Um, another thing. Oh, if you've been sick and you take your concealer and you've touched it to your face near your eye, throw it out because it could get you sick, it could give you pink eye later on. Even if it's like a cold that you had and you had mucus anywhere on your face, if this goes near your eye again, you could get pink eye. You don't want pink eye. Um, just throw it out, just throw it out. Concealer, I mean, you can get the Age Rewind for like $5, just throw it out. Mascara, throw it out. <laughs> if you get sick and it, just throw it out. There's no need, there's no need. Um, the mascara is not that expensive. If you can't afford a new mascara, then you should be using disposable wands for your stuff. You can get these on Amazon for like, I don't know, I got these for like 300 for $5 or something like that. Super cheap. You can use these. Um, but use them beforehand because once that brush gets dirty, you're done. You're done for. Um, what else? I think that's it. Let me know if you want more, if you have more questions on stuff. Um, I'm happy to help whatever way I can. Stay safe. See you tomorrow <laughs> in isolation. Bye.